show on this tour. And this is the only time that we've stopped in the middle of the show. <laughs> so this is a one-off. Why now? Well, some of you may have noticed that there is a media campaign uh, directed at me by some political opponents. This is all the bullshit accusing me of being a jewel hater and an anti-Semite and stuff, which obviously I'm not, but anyway, I'll go on. Um, these opponents are from two groups. Firstly, there are some on both sides of the Atlantic who object to my entreaties to the powers that be to support universal human rights as a necessary first step towards peace on earth. Uh, secondly, there are defenders of the promises of the present government of Israel. Yesterday there was an aggressive piece in the Jerusalem Post. <laughs> I mean, it's unlikely that many of you read the Jerusalem Post, but I did yesterday. So anyway, let me finish with you. Uh, which was a bit full of lies. And, but also there were opinions. The writer was called C.D. Joffrey. He objects to the juxtaposition of the names Anne Frank and Shireen Abu Akhle during my song, The Powers That Be, which you all saw earlier tonight. Well, silly, the old mate, uh, here in the safety of the bar, we are allowed to have different opinions. Okay, I've mentioned that before. You have yours, and I, for my part, stand by the inclusion and the juxtaposition of Anne Frank and Shireen Abu Akhle's names in this show. They are both my sisters. They were both murdered by the state. And like all victims of state violence, they must be remembered. So that's it. I'm done. I'm going to ask... Well, hang on a minute, guys. I'm nearly finished. Um, I'm going to ask you, my brothers and sisters, here at the bar, in Prague, for a moment's silence for our sisters Anne and Shireen before we carry on. 